Okay guys, so for the torso, we're gonna head on into cave one. You can see here, it's located with the red pinned marker on the map. Uh, this cave is also known as the back door to the katana. So yeah, we're gonna head on down here. This one's nice and easy. Uh, it's very close to the rope, we're gonna light the torch and it's right here, so there you go. So yeah, there's a torso, let's move on to the next. Okay, so for the head, we're going to head on down to Cave 2. This is located at the main cannibal camp, as you can see here. Look at the map. You can see the red marker pin at the bottom right. Nice and simple. We're going to head on down this rope. Uh, just follow me here. This will go past the uh, compass and the map, which you will see right down here. There you go. So we're going to keep on going underneath this rock. Just follow me guys, come on. It's nice and simple, this one. Just keep going uh, until we find this rope. Let's light up the torch again so you can see nice and clearly. We're gonna jump down, keep going past all this mess of mutilated body parts. Keep going, keep going. Past this uh, little jagged rock. Uh, keep going down here, past this little cannibal. Uh, head on here under this rock this is a good marker actually because once you hit that low rock you'll know you're headed in the right direction also there is a bunch of sticks on the floor here so keep an eye out for those and eventually we should come up to a table and here guys you will find the head so just pick that up and there you go the head Okay, so now it's time to get the arm from K3. So starting from the cockpit, you can see here on the map, uh, you can see the little red pinned marker there on the right. So head there, follow this uh, riverbed along to the right. This is also the new location for the chainsaw as well. What you'll do is you'll come up to some tents. When you see these tents, you will see a cave entrance. Head on through the cave entrance, make sure you've got some light and let's go. Okay, so just follow me as usual. Uh, past all the mutilated body parts. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Okay, so here you'll see a bunch of body parts uh, in front. We want to head to the right a little bit. There's a whole bunch of coins here. And there you go. The next part. Beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the leg... From K5, you can see here, I'm looking at the yacht and the tree to the right. Just turn with me. Uh, what I'll do is I'll speed this up. So we just run straight to the cave. The cave is also known as the Rebreather Cave. So what we're going to do, we're going to head inside the Rebreather Cave. Just come follow me. Nice and simple, this one. We're going to light up the torch as before. I'll go down here. Just keep following me. There we go. Nice and simple. Uh, dead easy, this one. So keep going, keep going. There we go. We can see a cannibal there on the left. He's going to be a pain. Uh, again, lots of money parts. And just up here past these suitcases is the leg. I'm actually getting beat to death. But we have it regardless. So there we go. Okay, guys. So next is the arm from Cave 7. You can see I'm looking at the orange tents. If you go to the yacht at the beach and head toward the snow biome, just follow the shoreline along and you will find those uh, orange tents. Here you can see that I now am on this bank. If I pull out my map, you can see exactly where I am at the top middle of the map there. There is a red pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed this up and we're going to run straight to that cave. So let's do that. Now you may remember this cave is where the modern axe used to be. It's nice and simple. We're going to run forward after we light our torch, past all the passengers, down the rope, and you're going to come across these two like fenced off areas, one here and one here. What we're going to do now is we're going to follow this ledge around. Just keep following it until the end here. And there you go. There is another piece. All right, guys, so we're going back in cave seven for the leg. Uh, I'm doing this in creative mode. It is the easiest way to do it. 
all you need to do is jump down the sinkhole in creative mode and you will see a gate uh, a cave entrance at the very bottom of the sinkhole now i'm going to speed this up because i went all crazy here and the wrong way but all you have to do is follow the sinkhole uh, edge around until you come uh, to the gate first before you do that you'll see the helicopter uh, pick up the machete uh, head on over to this gate here dead simple once you're here, light up your torch again, guys. You're going to need to see. Uh, you will come to another cave entrance exit. So go through this. Once we go through this, uh, eventually you're going to come across like a ledge with a drop to the left and a drop to the right. Now, this is nice and simple, this one. We're going to jump on the ledge. Keep it nice and safe there. Don't fall off. Although there are ropes to go back up. And there you go. There it is. The final piece. And that wasn't too difficult, was it? Okay, so now on to crafting it. It's very important that you start with the torso first. Once you've added the torso, you can then add the rest of it, the head, the legs and arms and so on. But please be aware that if you have multiple parts, only click on them parts once because it can cause problems. Um, I had like two heads, two bodies and so on. But there you go. Now I'm a good father. Robot crafted. Let's take a look. Look at that, it's perfect. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, you also get the good father achievement once you've found all pieces, so it's all good. Uh, I'm going to go. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe button. If you want to see more tutorials, I am working on something huge that will be released soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, bye bye all. Have fun.